Hello everybody, welcome to Simplified in 5. So today we are going to talk about solid principles of object oriented design. It's very tough to uh, summarize the solid principles in a 5 minute video like this but we are going to try and touch base upon all the 5 principles and just try to see some basic details about each and every principle. So starting with S, S stands for single responsibility which is very uh, simple principle and it states that every class should have only and only one responsibility so that it will have only one reason to change uh, now next is O so O stands for open closed uh, what this states is uh, objects or entities should be uh, open for extension but closed for modification why this principle is important because we know that every software keeps on going undergoing changes and if you have a good design uh, that that change will be very much easier so what open close uh, is uh, we can say that in detail uh, that every class is closed and you can compile it store it in library and there could be clients uh, to those library who would be making use of that class who would be uh, using the functionality pro provided by that class but they won't be tempering uh, the data or functionality of the class so this is what a close means but the the every class is also open because you can derive from it uh, you can add new features to it add, you can add new data to it so this is what uh, open close principle means so you your objects or entities should be you know open for extension and close for modification now next is l which, sta which stands for liskov substitution principle it states that functions that use pointers or references of base class they must be able to use their class objects without knowing it so this basically forces us to create or abstract classes or interfaces such that every derived class implements those interfaces so that if my functions are using base class pointer I should be able to use the same function for various derived flavors of my base class so this is what basically list or substitution principle is now I stands for interface segregation this principle is related with the single responsibility principle in sense that uh, it states that your interfaces should be as distinct as possible and no client of an interface should be forced to depend on methods it does not use so if I have an interface and there are two clients of it then both of my clients should be using all methods within that interface so my interface uh, should be so complete or should be so sufficient that all clients should be using all the methods within my interface and uh, all the inter all the methods within the interface should be that useful to all the clients of that interface so in sense every interface should uh, be unique in itself and it should be hence it should be very distinct so we can see how this interface segregation principle is related with the single responsibility principle next and final one is the dependency inversion principle so it states high level modules should not depend on low level modules instead both should depend on abstractions so basically uh, what we are uh, trying to say here is uh, high level modules and low level modules should not be depending on each other but instead they all both should be depending on uh, abstraction and that's how we make sure that uh, high and low level modules don't know about the concrete implementations but they know only about the abstract classes or interfaces so this is again uh, related with the list of substitution principle so basically these are the five uh, principles which are known as solid principles of object oriented design and we can see how they are interrelated with each other so these are the five principles that you should be uh, using while programming uh, thank you for watching and hope this helps